Well, hello everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh, I shouldn't start the video with a big sigh. <laughs> Just <laughs> people are gonna click on this, and the, and the first thing they hear is. <sighs> No, hello everyone, it's, uh, we're back at the logging, what a surprise, another day in paradise. Um, day 360? There's only five days until... No, yeah, three, yeah, five days until the, until my birthday. In the game, until this game's birthday. Until the Shade's birthday, because he was born on the first day. Um, so, that's pretty exciting, I gotta remember that, because, uh, there is a birthday event that I do not want to miss. Uh, in the game, that is. Um, well, it's a Wednesday today, I think. It's not. I thought wrong. It's a Thursday, the 18th of November. Um, I I was at work again tonight. And um, there's a lot of stuff. If you... Domino's is a place that I work. Domino's is where I work. And um, it's, it's a pretty international thing. I know that there's... It's obviously in England, because that's where I live in America, I don't know what other countries it is, but it's, you know, pretty franchised. Um, and there's a lot of stuff in making a pizza that if you just ordered a pizza, you wouldn't think about it. But but when you're making it, you have to do it. It's so weird. I'll, I'll run you through them. I'm sure I'm legally allowed to. So, for instance, there are some toppings on a pizza that are called placement toppings, and those ones have to be put in a certain pattern on the pizza. Uh, those are, there's pepperoni, there's ham, there's sausage and meatballs, chorizo, those are the ones, there might be another one. Uh, but those are placement toppings. And depending on what pizza it is, how many other toppings there are, the size of the pizza, you have to put them in a certain pattern. And then you, you cut it according to that pattern, cut it into slices. So for instance, for pepperoni, if you order the, the Domino's pepperoni pizza, and there are four slices per... Four, four slices of pepperoni per slice of pizza. So you have to, like, count it out and fraction it out and make sure you get it right. And then if you're if you're cutting the pizza, you have to... You can't just cut it willy-nilly. You've got to cut it in between all the pepperoni. And I, I mean, I've ordered plenty of, of pizzas with those toppings on from Domino's, and I've never thought, oh, there's one meatball per slice of this. Cool. It is, it is weird. And um, I'm sure that people, when they think of a pizza place, even like a, like a, you know, I'd say Domino's is a fast food pizza place. It is pretty good, though. Um, but, you know, it's it's pretty commercialized. It's pretty, you know, assembly line stuff, whatever. I think even, with, even in that type of place, you'd expect them to slide it into an oven and then slide it back out of the oven when it's finished cooking. But no... There's a, there's a big conveyor belt. <laughs> it's, it's so cool. Um, the, the, the oven, there are two ovens. There's one on top of the other. They, it's one, it's one unit, but there's two ovens. Um, and they both have a very slow moving conveyor belt that takes, it must be about 10 minutes to get from one end to the other, maybe five minutes or maybe somewhere in between. But it takes, you know, a, li a little while to get from one end to the other. It's maybe a meter and a half long, maybe two meters long. And so you make your pizza, you slide it in one end, and then you just wait, and it comes out the other end, and there's someone on that side taking them out of the oven and cutting them up and putting them in boxes and whatever. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I was expecting, you know, you slide it in the oven and you wait until it's baked, and then you've got to check on it or whatever, but no. And it's all perfectly timed. Every single thing that I've taken... The sides go in there. Um, your garlic bread goes in there. You know, any size of pizza goes in there. I think it's cool. Um, is there anything else interesting that uh, you wouldn't think happens? Um, I'm not excited for the rush tomorrow. I've got... I've had... I had a shift today. I had a shift yesterday. So that's Wednesday and Thursday. And... I've worked through dinner time. I've worked from four till about eight. Um, and both of those times, there's been four or five orders come in at once, maybe. Nothing we can't handle. They were all, you know, two or three pizzas. And so, you know, I, I know how to top them. I know how to put them in the oven. I know how to take them out of the oven now and cut them or whatever. I know how to do that. And tomorrow, Friday, 
I hear is the busiest day of the week by a long way. <laughs> and I am terrified because I'm, I mean, I've been, I've made some mistakes. And mistakes that we've been able to manage because, you know, there's not many orders coming in. We can just make another one because, you know, we've got to wait for delivery drivers or whatever. But tomorrow, I might not be, I might not be able to make those mistakes. And I'm worried. It's my third shift. Of course I'm going to do something wrong. I'll stick at the easiest stuff. The toppings is the hardest bit. Which you might not think so, but it is because you've got to check that the base is correct. And you've got to know what pizza you're making. You've got to know what order it's from. You've got to make sure you're getting the right toppings. If it says without onions, you've got to make sure it's not got any onions on. If it says with uh, pepperoni, you got to make sure it has extra pepperoni on or whatever. You know, if you're if you're manning the, the end of the oven, you just take it out, cut it, stick it on the side. Wait for someone to come and collect it. Topping it? It's bloody awful. Don't like that. It's not that bad. I'm sure I'll manage tomorrow. Um, I'm bound to make some mistakes, because I'm new. I think they, they're fine with that. If I made a hundred th mistakes in a row, then they might, like, fire me. But I'm not going to do that. Probably. I'll try not to do that. <laughs> No, I'll be fine. Uh, it's quite tiring, and it's very hot as well, especially in front of the oven. Like, everywhere's hot because, I mean, the oven heat goes everywhere. But when you're sitting right in front of the oven, you just get blasted with the heat. Uh, so that's not that's the mo not the most fun. But um, it's not bad. It's better than the warehouse job by a long shot. I actually get to talk to people. And the people there are absolutely lovely. Um... I'm not sure I've met everyone yet, but everyone I have met has been very nice and very helpful. Um, I've I've not had any dinner, and I was like, you know, I'll be fine, I'm a little hungry. But now I am thinking that I'm quite hungry. So I might go get some beans on toast. Or something like that. I've got some bread. So, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope you've all had a really good day. And I'll see you tomorrow.